So news is just in that Elon Musk has given Ukraine a backup internet. Now, I think this is an amazing story. Uh, and Elon Musk gets a lot of shit um, for the tax he apparently evades, even though he paid the highest tax bill in the history of the world last year. He also gets criticised for using Twitter and um, affecting markets up and down, pumping and dumping cryptos, etc. But get this, um, a government spokesperson um, in Ukraine, um, an official, tweeted Elon Musk. And he said, so it was um, Mikhailo Fedorov, a government official for Ukraine. He tweeted and tagged in Elon Musk. This is amazing. While you try to colonise Mars, Russia tried to occupy Ukraine. While your rockets successfully land from space, Russian rockets attack Ukrainian civil people. We ask you to provide Ukraine with Starlink stations and to address sane Russians to stand. Now, he doesn't have to do anything. I'm sure he gets a zillion tag-ins on Twitter. Didn't have to do anything. And within 10 hours, Elon Musk replies, Starlink service is now active in Ukraine, more terminals en route. So a lot of people attack billionaires. Oh, they're not useful. You know, they just screw people over. They just, don't, they just want global corporate power. They never pay any taxes. It's, it's, it's mostly bullshit. And actually, some of the greatest billionaires of the world have provided the most useful, valuable service to the world. Who else alive could give Ukraine a backup internet? Name me one other person. BT? No. Who could give Ukraine a backup internet? Uh, so, um, within 10 hours, um, Starlink service is now active in Ukraine. So, breaking news is that Elon Musk has just given Ukraine a backup internet, his Starlink um, terminal. Um, I'm going to just read you the exact specifics of what's happened. This is broke while I was asleep, this news. Uh, let me know what you think about this, by the way. Um, Jay says Jeff Bezos could. Did he? No. Okay. Name me more than five people in the world. So Yana has said Elon Musk is not a nice guy. So do you know Elon Musk, Yana? Have you met him? You're friends with him. You know him. Very easy to judge. Did you, Yana, um, give Ukraine a backup internet? Just asking. But by the way, I'm always up for discussion and debate. So let me know in the comments. So um, a Ukraine government official tweeted Elon Musk, basically pleading um, for him to give them Starlink internet access. Within 10 hours, he had given Ukraine a backup internet. So SpaceX billionaire Elon Musk said on Saturday that the company's Starlink satellite broadband service is available in Ukraine. Ukraine. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm reading a lot of comments here. Ah, uh, Rob, come on. He should have stayed out of it. Starlink is part of the plan. Let me know why. It's all very well saying those things. Give me some research. Give me some proof. Give me some background. Share your opinion. Um, uh, by the way, I encourage everyone to share their opinion on my videos. Um, so, yeah, I, I, let's discuss. But I'm not just going to believe what you disbelieve just because you want me to believe what you disbelieve. Have you given the Ukraine a backup internet? Have the critics and the government officials who are trying to bring him down, calling him a grifter, have they given the Ukraine backup internet? <laughs> if you're going to call him a Freemason and part of the Great Reset, then prove it. And by the way, I'm, I'm all up for discussion. If you can prove stuff to me, you know, I'm always learning or always learning. However, this is broken and I've done a bit of research and I believe it to be true. I don't think Elon Musk would tweet it if it wasn't true. Um, so Starlink service is now active in Ukraine. More terminals are en route. Elon Musk has given um, Ukraine a backup internet. Um, he was responding to a tweet by a Ukraine government official who asked Musk to provide the embattled country with Starlink stations. So internet connectivity in Ukraine has been affected by the Russian invasion, particularly in the southern and eastern parts. 
Officials think that internet access can help defeat Russian propaganda and expose atrocities being carried out by Putin's troops. While extremely costly to deploy, satellite technology can provide, pe uh, provide internet for people who live in rural or hard to serve places. So yeah, I, I personally think that this is great news. Um, yeah, some, someone, Rich has just said here, he's done more than Biden and Boris combined. Look, what can we do? What can you do? I think there's a lot of people on social media who've got a really massive opinion, but do nothing. So please give me your opinion. Please share your research. But please do something about it. Please do something about it. And what I'm trying to do about it is, um, you know, create content and interrupt otherwise what I would be doing. So I actually have an NFT launch tonight. I've got a preview launch of my brand new Disruptors NFT series. But every morning I've broken that promotion to do um, content on the Ukraine situation to do my little bit to, um, you know, use my platform and profile for good. So um, I wonder if you might share this and do the same. Um, Sharon said he has power and money. Yes, he does. Maybe that's a good reason to have power and money. Um, you know, if you earn money, you can do good things with money. You can support great causes. In times of war, you can give aid and support, which you can't do when you're broke. So morning, everyone. How are you doing? Um, yeah, so I've actually interrupted my NFT launch just to um, share some messages around Ukraine that I think are useful and valuable. Um, and I think we can all do our little bit. Um, so if you could share this, that's something that you can do. Uh, and any of my other videos on Ukraine. Um, I don't stand for war and I do stand for Ukraine. I understand that I can only see what I see through media and I'm not on the ground in Ukraine or Russia. I understand the limitations of my knowledge in this field. I don't think a lot of people do understand their limitations of knowledge because we've only seen what we've been um, given in the media. But I do try and look at different media outlets to hopefully pick a relatively balanced view. Um, so, yeah, um, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Elon Musk has just given internet access as a backup to Ukraine through his Starlink um, satellite system um, because Ukraine have pleaded. Actually, Ukraine, um, a government official went on Twitter, tagged Elon Musk in, said, look, we need support. Can we use your Starlink satellite broadband service and within 10 hours it was live and it was sending them more terminals which I think is a great thing. Um, if any of you think there's more to pl at play and there's more go going on behind the scenes let's discuss it. I'm open to the discussion but what I'm not really that interested in and you know correct me if I'm wrong but you people saying oh you know World Economic Forum great reset own nothing be happy Charles Schwab Freemasons but, but where's the research? Where's the proof? Where's the evidence? Where's the discussion? Where's the debate? It's, it's all very much throwing words out there. Um, but, you know, I'd like to see more evidence on that. Um, the reason uh, I've done this video is, one, because I think we all need to do a little bit to stand against war. Because surely we're all more evolved as a species now to not have to resort to war. So anything we can all do, obviously there's mass sanctions now against Russia. All the big sporting events are being cancelled. Um, and, you know, a lot of the, the bank's money flow is being uh, restricted. So, you know, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So that's obviously going to happen in uh, any way. Um, but, you know, if all of us share on our socials, you know, that we, um, you know, we don't stand for war, and we stand for Ukraine or for peace, uh, then we can do our little bit. And you know, what? I always used to think, no point saying anything, Rob, because you can sign a petition and no one's going to read it. You can do a Facebook Live and no one's going to watch it. Or I can do a Facebook Live and it's not exactly going to get streamed to uh, Put Putin's not, hey, Put hey, Vladdy, stop the war. <laughs> you know, and, and so I just used to think there's nothing you can do, so do nothing. I actually don't think that anymore. I think there's something you can do. There may be 20, 50, 100,000 people that watch this video. There were 30 or 40,000 people that watched my last video. 15, 20, 30,000 people that watched the, the video before that. So if you all share, this video might make a little bit of a difference. And like I said, interrupting my commercial activity. Um, so basically making personal sacrifice in order to hopefully address these wider political views. This, by the way, 
is why I changed my podcast from disruptive entrepreneur to disruptors. Because now that I've built a bit of a profile and a platform and I've got listeners in 204 countries and I've got now approaching 2 million followers on socials and email subscribers on my podcast, I thought it is my duty and responsibility now to talk about wider views like censorship and cancel culture and, you know, mainstream media and decentralization. And now, unfortunately, war, um, because I think that it's important to do that. So thank you for those that have just said you've shared the video. I really appreciate that, Hannah. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you very much. Let me know what your thoughts. Just a quick summary then. Um, a government official of Ukraine tweeted Elon Musk uh, and basically said, look, you need to help us. We need a backup internet. Give us access to Starlink satellite. Within 10 hours, Elon Musk had replied saying, satellite, Starlink, internet broadband access granted and to more terminals coming your way. He got the job done. And I say hat tip to him. I say, do your research on billionaires. A lot of people are anti-billionaires. They're not paying any tax. They have their companies in Ireland. Their greed, their power, all this. You're doing biased, one-sided research. Look at the billionaires in history. Many of them have built schools and libraries and hospitals and funded the eradication of disease and, you know, given great aid and support in, in war. Now, are all billionaires kind philanthropists? No. But are many of them? Yes. Can you be a kind philanthropist with no money? No. So I, you know, I, I do try and support more the free markets and free enterprise and proper free capitalism, which we probably don't have right now, but I do um, support that. Um, so thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. And remember, tonight, GMT, 8 p.m., um, I've got my um, pre-launch of my NFT series. I'm giving an access to all areas past to all my courses. Your ability to sponsor and advertise on my podcast and YouTube channels um, and become part of a 100 millionaire plus mastermind and all sorts of other perks if you um, purchase one of my NFTs. I'll be covering the ABCs of NFTs, the five A's of NFTs, the good, the bad, the ugly of NFTs and the future of NFTs. And it's all at tiny.cc forward slash Rob NFT. That's tiny.cc forward slash Rob NFT. It's um, free access. It's me uh, sharing with you what I've learned to date and how I've packaged up my NFT. It's, you actually can't buy them, just so you know, but I'll show you them, and I'll talk about how I built them and the perks and the attributes. But re really, I've been interrupting that launch to um, comment on Ukraine, Russia. And I say hat tip to Elon Musk, who responded to a tweet uh, and gave Ukraine um, satellite link, Starlink, broadband internet, because... Um, you know, their internet connection is slowing greatly because of the, of the war. And officials in Ukraine believe that internet access can help defeat Russian propaganda and expose the atrocities being carried out by Putin's troops. I think that's a great thing. Let me know what you think. And please hit the share button because let's all do our little bit. Just because we're not in Russia and Ukraine doesn't mean we can't do our own little bit if we all shared this video. If we all made a post, who knows what difference it could make because, you know, they say it's the last straw that breaks the camel's back. Um, and they say the flap of a butterfly wing can create a, a hurricane on the other side of the world. And maybe we can do our little bit. So thanks for tuning in. Hit the share button. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. I'll see you 8 p.m. GMT for my official pre-launch preview reveal of my NFTs uh, and some content uh, and some use, useful usage for NFTs and the spaces that it's in already and the future and the evolution of it at tiny.cc forward slash Rob NFT. And NFT all stands for no fucking Tanks. Oi, Vlad. No fucking 